Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So we got hit by a new um, update patch. I'm going to be going through everything and just taking a look at the whole, all the patch notes as well as the new monsters that are released. Um, we got a new event, a new new capture event. And I think this one might be a little bit easier. It is Christmas, so I guess their um, 433 is, uh, is, is is cutting back a bit. We don't have to like farm super, super crazy like the D'Artagnans from, from a while back. Um, so I'm going to be taking a look at the the maintenance notice. So this is going to be happening on December 12th, which is tomorrow. And uh, so you guys better prepare your uh, your Astro Gems and all that stuff so to, to get ready to, for farming. Um, probably have like a few hours to do that before, before the update hits. So uh, first things first, there's going to be a new synergy bonus system. Uh, what this is, is basically it adds a bonus effect to monsters or maybe is this bonus effect? It could be stats. It could be like just I don't know. Maybe it's like 10% extra attack. Maybe it's like something has like a chance to I don't know like stun or something. I, I don't I don't know. I have no idea what this is. But basically, um, when you use certain monsters together, you're gonna get a bonus, um, some sort of bonus. I, I guess I could speculate what what that would be, but it's it's probably something like. Um, you know, either a stat, flat stat increase, which is, I guess, not too bad, or like a percent stat increase. Um, it could be some sort of effect, like actual effect, like, um, you know, chance to stun, chance to siphon SP, chance to do something, I don't know. Or maybe like it's a 100% chance, you know, like if when, when you use two monsters together, they, they have a 100% chance to do something. Um, so yeah, that... That seems pretty exciting. It does add a little bit of variety into the game, and you can, you can kind of like plan based on that. Like you might want to use certain monsters together because they have the synergy bonus. Um, so there's going to be a new monster called the the Rudolph. She actually looks really cute. I think I have her on the uh, the Korean cafe neighbor. I use Google Translate to translate all this, and yeah, it looks it looks really nice. A lot of people are saying that we're going to repeat the Snowies, but um, they actually made a new monster for Christmas. I mean, Christmas is a pretty important holiday, so you know they they, they don't want to miss out on that opportunity to make a new new event. Um, and yeah, she's a uh, she is waifu, so so I'll definitely be collecting her. And and yeah, that that's that, that's 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 pretty much it for her appearance. Now. The event is going to work like this. There's going to be a wood version of the monster and a four star light and dark version of the monster. Now you will be able to capture the wood monster or, or the wood version of the Rudolph in the um, capture festival or basically on, on the maps like any other capture event. And the, the light dark versions will be summoned through fusion and uh, you'll be able to try them out as support astromon so that, I guess that's pretty cool. Um, Astro Guide for Rudolph will be update added right after the maintenance, but I, I guess they the event might not be out right after the maintenance. Um, it might, yeah. It's this preparation. Yeah, this is like before the event actually goes live. So there's like a preparation phase to the 14th. So we have like two days. If you have like a whole bunch of gold and you need to slime to make sure you have enough Astro Gems to start farming, you can do it within these two days, and. It's going to be very, very similar to the event we had last time, where you basically you get a ticket if you wish for something, um, and then there's a capture, like the actual capture festival is from the 14th to the 29th. So you, we have about, like my math is so so bad, two weeks. We have two weeks. <laughs> we have two weeks. I was like dividing by seven, and then I was like, wait, no, that's not that's not right. I was like 29 minus 14. It's like it's like oh, that's uh that's 15. And then, and then, like, just divide that by half. So it's like about two weeks. All right, not exactly. Um, and there's going to be a finale phase for two days where you get to use the, um, you get to actually open up your tickets or something like that. And event map Astromon uh, Rudolph will appear randomly at adventure area. You'll be able to obtain it during the event period. So it's basically a capture capture event. Uh, this is very simple. It's basically the wood one you can get from. From, from the map, and you can capture them. And then you gotta use these wood ones to do the fusion. And if you fuse them, you can fuse them into the light and dark ones. Now, whether that would be worth it, we'll, we'll have to look, take a look at their skills. Um, I, I took a look at their skills briefly, but I didn't take a look at their stats. But we will be able to do that now because I have the uh, I have this open, so we can take a look at their like max level stats and all that stuff. Um, 
and uh, you'll also be able to get them from soul stones. Uh, soul stones are sold in the shady shop and I guess there's probably going to be a guardian dungeon for them as well. So that's actually pretty good. Um, the other thing is there, the three star egg is going to be added to the crystal shop. I don't know how much this is going to cost. Uh, so, oh, this is a variant for 300 crystals. I don't, I don't understand. Na natural, normal. The normal one only a hundred crystals. It's a little bit expensive. I probably wouldn't wouldn't use it unless the variant is really really good, or if you can't capture the variant on the uh, on the normal maps. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think the I think they have crit lead if I'm not mistaken. They have crit lead, right? I can't read Korean. All right, some somebody help me, please. Somebody help me. They have some sort of like 18, 13 to 18 percent. So I'm like speculating that it's crit lead. See, this is like 13 to 18 percent here. I'm I'm suspecting it's crit lead because nothing else is 13 to 18 percent besides crit. Um, but yeah, it would definitely help if if I can read Korean. Um, limited skill book added for celebration of Astromon of the month. Uh, you get this from the 15th to the 31st, so half a month to do this. We'll be selling four-star skill books of the Astromon selected as um, Astromon of the Month. Astromon of the Month number one skill book, five-star skill book. So they're finally adding five-star skill books. You'll be able to purchase a max eight times. So uh, I guess I guess they're probably rotating. So there there might be a new Nat Five the next month. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit expensive. They, they did list the price um, below as well. And Astromon of the Month, uh, four star skill book, random between Incubus and Leo. So you just have to buy this and see if you can get lucky. And you can only buy this eight times, so it means you won't be able to max skill them. That's, that's pretty tilting, actually. I think they should increase that to like 16 times. This way, like, you know, if you buy it 16 times, you get everything if you, if you really want to whale. Um, but I guess they don't want to make it too pay to win. Astromon of the Month, uh, three star skill book among Miho's Seedler Siren, able to purchase 10 times. Uh, I don't think this is really worth it because you can get these off the map unless you're like really new and you have money, then I guess you, you could do this. Um, Astromon of the Month, one star skill book slime. This is, this is going to change the meta. We're going to have a... I'm going to make a full slime team and, and do PvP with that um, after they give us the slime skill books. Limited fusions summon tree event. Uh, you will be able to tame, attain these through summoning um, limited once. You need 3 star evil 2 plus 3 star evil 3. So that's like 16 plus... You need 20, 20 basically. You need you need 20 Rudolphs to make one light or dark, um, or one dark, and then uh... wait, how do you make the light one then? Oh wait, you know, no, no, it says over here. You can make the light one and the dark one, so it's like 20 each, and then um, if you want to re-roll, you can re-roll the slots. Oh, nice. You can, yeah, you can re-roll the slots. So ba what, basically what this is, is like, it's kind of like the Gatito event from before, where you can keep re-rolling the slots. If you guys remember the Dark Gatito, I kept re-rolling my Dark Gatito. I think I spent like, um, I think I spent like three or four million gold, just, just non-stop re-rolling until I got a Dark Gatito with like a uh, triple square. So I guess that, that could be pretty nice. If the Dark one's really good, I might actually do that. I just keep re-rolling until I have, until I have triple square. Or maybe reroll both of them until they both have triple square. Um, equip gems will disappear when fusing. Yeah, basically it's a new monster, so you want to make sure um, you you don't have any gems on them um, until you're actually planning to raise them. And also, like if you reroll like an evil three one or a six star one, it's going to get reverted back to back to four stars. So you don't want to raise anything that you're going to reroll. Um, limited Rudolph Christmas package added. And, uh, oh wait, you can only reroll Evil 3, so I guess that's, that's kind of, it kind of doesn't matter. Um, there's going to be a package to get the, uh, wood, wood Rudolphs. You get four of them if you buy the package. And if you buy it twice, you get a highlight dark egg. So I guess that's not, 
that's not too bad actually that's that's kind of all right um be able to get random summon among the fire water wood gleam egg when you purchase three times this actually isn't too bad you get a you get when you buy it twice you get a light dark egg when you buy it three times you get a gleam so like i think this is pretty high value if you're a whale i'm not i'm not too sure um limited uh, what is a do i can't i can't read this uh before oh it's basically like a new uh new airship i guess the the next tier above the albatross <laughs> oh man but i guess it's only for clan battles so so it's it's, it's whatever um Maybe they give you like 300 extra slots so you can like slime easier. Um, pack, per purchasing the Benedict package during the event period will distribute um, with Ashmon encounter rate times two booster. So I basically this is like a like last time it's like a one for one deal um, if you buy the Benedict package during this time, and they added some they added back the three star Ashmon soul stones. A lot of people were complaining, so I guess that's pretty good as well. 12 types of better functions. You'll be able to hatch 10 eggs at once. Wait, what? Wait, only for mid and low? Wait, 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 wait. What about high? All right, I, I think you still have to hatch one at a time for high. But I guess... I guess... Uh, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. Beggars can't be choosers. You have to adjust the amount of materials you want to sell. A super laboratory material storage. Be able to use a sidebar, select the mount easier way. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. Like, you don't have to go and click a thousand times to sell stuff. Um, oh, they'll move to the top of the list, the ones you can get Astro Gems from. That's 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 pretty good. That's that's really nice. Um, these are some nice quality of life changes. Battle result when auto-battling will be able to choose continue or stop the auto button uh, when touching the prepare for next battle screen. Interesting. Well, we'll see what that does. Monster page level up. Those with level forty and higher will be able to uh, use fruit by hundreds. Oh, this is this is so nice. This is this is really good too. Like this is amazing. Um, Astro ship monster ascension soul stone button, which will pop up. You'll be able to check dungeon information. Will be opening daily. You know what they should actually do? Like I actually have a pretty good recommendation. Um, I think my gem inventory is full. Oh man, I gotta go back and sell all the five star gems. How did it fill up so easily? I didn't I didn't I didn't clear enough gems last time. This one's got resist. This one's got resist. This one's got resist. Ooh, this one's a crit rate. It's got attack defense. Keep it for now. I don't need a ruin. I mean, it does have resist. This one, this one's got crit rate. Actually, I don't like it. I'm, I'm too lazy. I'm just solid. All right, that's it, guys. I don't need attack either. I don't need ferocity set. All right, back to, back to life. You know what I was say, saying before is um, it would be really awesome if you can show the amount of whatever stones you have when you're actually in the dungeons on that day, like show it here or something. That would be really cool. That would make things a lot easier because I I always have to go back and check like when it's like light day. I'm like, oh shit, it's light day. I'm gonna I'm gonna start farming. Like light or dark day, I'm gonna start farming, and I always go back and check like what I what I have left. It would be really nice if uh, if it can show there instead as well that would be pretty awesome um all right uh when getting to clan festival gifts you'll be able to open gifts straight battle result tab from adventure area part of dungeons your own best clear time will be marked well that's pretty cool we'll be able to like set records and stuff um guardian dungeon tower of chaos clan conflict region defense will not be marking clear time records will disappear when deleting the game all right so this is only you can see it Astromon Story Habitat tab, you'll be able to view other element evolved versions of the Astromon. 
you'll be able to check the information of Evo 1 to 3 version clicking the left of the, um, the left arrow button so this is just some convenient stuff um, through the element mark you'll be able to or through the element mark you'll be able to view all the information on the other elements so that's that's actually pretty pretty nice uh, quality of life stuff there basically it's like you can click and um, like you're checking out the dark version of a monster there's like a light button you can just click that and then you can you can instantly see the uh, the evil three or whatever whatever tab you were on before um, so that's that's actually pretty good adventure area you'll be will be vibrated when encountering rare ash monitoring battles so I guess this is pretty cool because you can set up some alerts I'm not sure if Nox can do it, like make it go like ding when you when you capture like when new um, something like pops up. I think you can do something like that. This way, it's easier to, to capture. Um, you'll be able to turn on and off the setting. It'll be vibrated twice. Quitting the battle will cause vibration once. Um, Astrobon that will cause vibration encountered variant rare super rare event legendary. Um, dungeon party saved. Guardi Golem dragon. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, dude. I, I hate it when I, I finish Dragon Speed 10. I go into Golems without, like, really checking. I just click play. And then, like, I come back and I notice that, like, uh... Yeah, it's actually probably my fault. I, I've done it a few times where I, like, I would click play. And then I'd be like, I'd go in with a team and then I would waste 8, eight energy. Because I would be like, oh shit, this is the wrong team. Or worse... It would be like I could click play and I go do something else, and then I come back and find out that uh, it actually just had one fail run because it didn't, it couldn't do anything because it it kept failing, or it, it failed once. I mean, um, and yeah, it would just like fail once, and then like it would be it would it would not do the times twenty. It would just keep keep doing the like it would just stay on that screen. Um, other improvement errors fixed quest daily weekly monthly quest ui will be improved um i guess that's pretty good ui fixes are always good unless it makes my farming time longer like that stupid treasure box i'm i mean i'm kind of over it but i i still hate it i still hate it i can't help hating it okay so uh we're gonna be taking a look at the I guess this is already this is already mentioned. I basically just got this open just to click at the just to look at the image. Now we can take a look at the the new monsters and, and their stats and all that stuff um, and their skills. So according to Reddit, according to um, a quote from Lucina Nun, uh, the dark one is is a three turn debuff. I guess they they know how to read Korean. It's a three turn whoops. It's a three turn. Uh, 300 attack down debuff and a hunter um, 30%. I don't know if they're AoE, but I'm guessing they're probably AoE because it has like a 30%. And uh, like this is like an 80% stun. It's too weak for it to be single target, so I'm thinking it's probably AoE. So basically, the dark one um, is attack down hunter. It's if crit on crit. So basically, it, it can serve as a 100% attack down monster. Which is extremely, extremely valuable for Titans. Um, but it, since it's a dark attacker, you can also use it for um, for PvP, for farming, for any anything really. Because dark attackers are just super OP. But I think mostly for Titans because of the 3 turn attack down. Um, very, very valuable. So I guess she's mostly a Titans mon. I would definitely still recommend grabbing one because it's very very unique. It's it's really hard to get like an attack down that strong. Like this is even stronger than the than like Water Indra who has like a th three turn eighty percent. This is like a hundred percent if you can get a hundred percent crit, and if you have good enough gems, then a hundred percent crit should be pretty easy. Um, if you're like around the late game, if and if you're not around late game, you should you probably shouldn't be focusing on Titan anyway. So it's. You know, it, it's win-win. It's win-win, basically. Um, so that's that's the first thing. Uh, the second the second one's a light one. She, she's a defender. We'll take a look at her stats, actually. Uh, low recovery, low defense, but it's, it's fine. 3,200 attack, not too bad for an attacker. So I guess you can use her as a nuker. You can use her for PvP if you if you want to, or if you have no better, better nukers, um, you can use her for PvP. Or you can just basically build her a little bit tankier and use her for like titans. That could also work. Um, I'd probably just use her for titans. I already have a lot of monsters for PvP. 
But she's she's definitely a really good Titan spawn. Um, the light one is a defender. If you crit, you steal um, SP. So it's like SP siphon 30% and a 80% stun for one turn. So it's a defender, but it requires crit, which is very interesting. Mm, 1200. She's relatively tanky. It's pretty high. Has a bit of attack. Not too bad. I don't think she's really all that exceptional, but I would still try to grab one because, you know, you can collect her waifu purposes. Um, now, the wood one actually interested me because the wood one is actually a monster that um, that is pretty useful, I think, to, to a lot of newer players. Now, if you're, like, completely new to the game and this event just came up and you're not confident that you can build the light and dark one because the light one has no real practical use in the game like i i can't think of a real practical use for this monster um the dark one has a lot of practical uses but it's mostly for titans and for nu nuking um like for pvp for arena there's a lot of other really good dark nukers that you can already use as well and there's like another one that's like out out for rebirth literally this month like the dark seedler who's like top top tier um but you can definitely grab her. Like, I would definitely try to try to get one, like aim for one of her first, before anything else. But the the um, the thing I want to mention is the wood one is a fifty percent morale booster and a twenty percent predator. So this is very very similar to the wood incubus, and she has two thousand four hundred um, base attack, which is all that really matters. It doesn't matter what, how, how much her HP or defense or recovery is. All that matters is her attack because you're going to be using her for farming. And um, since she has a 50% morale boost and a 20% predator, this is not hunter by the way, this is, this is predator. So um, she doesn't require any crit. Very, very easy to gem. Um, her mor morale boost doesn't require crit or anything either. So uh, basically you just gem her like triple attack and she just becomes like a really, really good monster that you can use for farming. Even if you have like the shittiest gems in the world. So I was thinking, you know, if you're not confident that you can get 20, because you need 20 of these and then you need 15 more. So you need 35 of these to build one. Um, and I, I mean, she's really good, but you can also, like if you're only confident that you can only get like 16 or something because you're like really new to the game, you can actually build the wood one and just use her for farming because she can carry you through a lot of content. There's like um, like seabed caves, which is like one map further than, than, um, than, than Pagos Coast. You can farm seabed caves because seabed caves is like all wood and water. So you can use her to farm that and um you can also if you have nothing better to farm stuff like glacial plains like if you have like good siphon gems but you have like no wood attackers because there, there really aren't many good wood attackers um you can actually use her for this job it's kind of like how i use the water mona to farm aurora plateau because there's like really no other better monster uh, she can kind of serve that role as well so i think she's actually valuable like the the uh the wood one is actually pretty good I think um, I think they have crit leader. I'm not 100% sure because I can't read Korean, but it says 13 to 18% here. So I think I think it's crit. I'm pretty sure it's crit. So maybe you can use her for for farming with the with the extra crit lead. And if you have like some decent gems, you might be able to go like crit rate double attack and then use the crit lead to push to 100% crit. That that could also work as well if you ca happen to get one as a variant. Um, so all in all, they're they're really good. Like all the monsters, all all the uh, all the, well, actually, the light one has no real good use, but might as well just make one just 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 cause just cause waifu purposes. Um, but the dark one and the wood one are actually really good monsters, so I definitely definitely recommend grabbing one of them. And that is pretty much it. That is the end of this. Uh, that is the end of this 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 thing, this uh, this this patch review. I, I like my my brain just died for a second. Um, too much math I have to do in this video. But anyways, that is pretty much it. So hopefully you guys are uh, you guys will enjoy the new update. Um, I'm actually I think the biggest thing that I'm happiest about in this update is the quality of life changes that they're they're making. Hopefully they don't they don't do anything that like impacts my farm time because I I don't want it to be like any I don't want it to be one second slower. All right, I, I like I like farming at this speed. Um, but hopefully they don't do anything to change that. Nothing nothing they do changes that and um you know being able to sell your materials and use 100 fruits at the same time is really really convenient for 
I guess, late game players. So I think I guess this is more more for us. But for for new players, um, there's like this new monster that you can use, like the the wood one, which is actually pretty good that you can use for farming. So I think she's she's quite good. You can actually you can actually build her. Like she's definitely worth building, um, in my opinion, for new players because anything like that you can use for farming is is just good. Period. Farming is the most important thing in, in MSL. Like it's more important than being a good PVP, being a good Titans monster. Like having the best farmer makes it so you can farm more and and get more gold and get more gems and get more everything. You know, so that's like the most valuable thing in MSL is like farmers. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh crap! This is awkward. My uh, my OBS disappeared. All right, this is this is the this is the real peace out. Peace out.